Do you watch porn and struggle with erectile dysfunction? Namaste. Welcome, gentlemen. It's Anita Tadavarthi. I'm a licensed acupuncturist with over 20 years of experience. I've also treated over 100,000 patients in my clinic and want to share with you a concept from my practice. Over the years, so many men have come into my practice and have explained to me that they struggle with erectile dysfunction. As I do the intake, I also discover they are frequently watching porn. So let me share with you some of the things that I have seen. Many men, when they watch porn, they're not just watching it once a week or once a month. They are watching it a couple times a day. Also, because the frequency and the accessibility of porn on the phone or on our televisions, enables men to masturbate more frequently. This frequency of masturbation can cause erectile dysfunction. I can only share with you what I see in my practice. Also, when these men are with a real life partner, they are not easily stimulated because the neural pathways in the brain have changed as the stimulus is now the porn on their phone or on their television. So I want to share with you what men have done in my practice to be able to reduce the amount of porn. And as a result of reducing porn, they are able to improve erectile dysfunction. Before we step into it, I always tell my patients at my practice to get checked out by their medical doctor. Speak to your doctor, let them know what is going on so he or she can review things, review medications, and confirm there is no injury. Also, there's phenomenal support groups that can also help you as they are also going through it. What men mostly do in my practice is they get the acupuncture. I'll also share with you an acupressure protocol that can help. I'll also share with you a couple of teas that men drink that help them. But really, the main cause and effect is that the frequency of porn can take away from the essence. What I've known and seen in my practice is that really we are not meant to either masturbate and or have sex often. That energy is supposed to be saved. And so if you find yourself doing it daily and as you're getting older, you may not have the energy to support it. Everyone is different and you'll need to evaluate if the frequency of masturbation or having sex should be once a day or a couple times a week or once a week or once or a couple times a month. Only you can find that balance. But if you are struggling with erectile dysfunction and porn, the equation is not correct and so you'll have to recalibrate it. Ways that men in my practice have been able to recalibrate is the following. One is to consider finding an acupuncturist locally. If you do find an acupuncturist locally, then ask him or her to do four gates as well as ear shen men, as well as yin tong. In addition, I'm gonna to talk to you about two acupressure points you can do and we'll do them together. Also two teas that I have work, seen work well is ginger tea as well as green tea. Drinking that daily can help you to keep the blood flow to help with erectile dysfunction. Also lastly, what has worked is a substitution. So every single time you want to watch porn, then maybe consider either doing the acupressure that I'm about to present, or you can also get an app that blocks you from watching certain porn sites on your phone or on your television. This has been effective, but if we can get in the habit of you changing that behavior, first reducing the frequency of the porn, and then finding a balance that works for you, that can be crucial. Support groups are very impactful for this along with your doctor's recommendations. So what I want to do today is share with you two points, self-care acupressure, that I've seen work in my practice well for patients who want to reduce watching porn and also want to improve erectile dysfunction. We're going to couple this with nasal breathing as I've also seen nasal breathing 
take the edge off and take the desire away from wanting to masturbate with porn. This is what I've seen in my practice. Remember, breathe in from your abdomen or chest, mouth closed, breathe from one or both nostrils. If you're doing it nasal breathing fast, be sure to do it seated down and or laying down. The two points are yin tong and ear shen men. We're gonna do this together for two minutes. So every single time you want to not watch porn and help you to improve erectile dysfunction naturally, save this video and do this with me. Let's do it together for the next two minutes. Here we go. Don't forget to nasal breathe. Now for Irshan Men, I'm going to show you it's in the cave above the half circle. Do both ears. I'm going to hold up this while I do it with nasal breathing on both ears. Here we go. In my practice, it takes men anywhere from about six weeks to a few months to be able to reduce watching of porn so that they can naturally improve erectile dysfunction. If this protocol is helping you, please comment down below. You can just put an eggplant and I'll know what you mean. If it's not working, then also let me know and I'll redesign the protocol. Do get the recommendations of your medical doctor. Do see if there's a support group as everyone is going through it together. Also, if there's other topics you want to know more about, comment down below. And if you have a lady friend, please send her over to TikTok and Instagram. There's some really great women's health over there. Whether you're watching us on TikTok, Instagram, or here on YouTube, all the monetization money is being used to fund a future free clinic in my hometown of Washington, D.C. I thank you for your support. If you want to give a donation, it's the first link down below or the first link in the link tree. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I wish you all the best in being a man on the planet from your friend and acupuncturist, Neil Tedavarthi. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapely Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which has now been converted into our clinic or free hospital. Um, we have been here for four months and we have treated about a thousand patients with over eight or nine thousand patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pains, lots of different types.